Let's try to go there. Uh, anyway. So, Sai tell the speaker who it was. He can convince those. He can. last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases, like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Mm, I mean, no, let you out so uh, I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I waited your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, who? We've already met. You do... Sorry about that. Uh... Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering to me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must mm. say, you make up for yourself rather evident. Excuse me. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Oh. I'm heading off. Don't get left behind. I'm coming. Ah, freaking messed up. That's where we're going like this, Emily. <laughs> You're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is, but rest assured, sir, mm. everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. Mm. We think that perhaps... 
Oh my gosh, bro. The freak, bro. Freak. I'm sorry, guys. This f fucking thing is so sh fucking stupid. Like work, nigga. Fucking ridiculous. Excuse me, nigga. This stupid fucking thing, you. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry.
Uh, may I ask your name? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> bro. Freaking what, bro? Why are you son up in five minutes, bro? Fuck up. I'm ending this tab, by the way. Y'all are never going to see this this rage. Y'all are never going to see it. I promise you I'm ending in this. I'm asking to edit. Can you not shut off, please? <laughs> Can you not shut off, please? Please. I'm sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few other things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here.
Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only light... I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I'm just so very, very frustrated, guys. I'm very, very, very frustrated. I just gonna have to put you guys through this one. Don't blame me. Blame the crappy Xbox. Bro. Crappy thing. May I ask your name, please? Louis, Monsieur de Richet. You must... What can you tell me about the two weapons? And just what it would seem... But no one see. What do you mean? On several, the reason where we are in the eats after that, we think that... Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep. And no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing there. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Give me the handkerchief. I'll first... I'm going to show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... 
travel hard for several days in order to get here. Yes. But invited by your master. No, of course. Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Yes. Mm. Now, having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Mm. Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Okay. Your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Bear with me. We're almost done. We're almost done with the prologue, bro. We're almost done. We're gonna be doing a lot of editing for this video. A lot of editing. A lot of editing for this video, chat. Oh my gosh. Now what is it? I'm so sorry guys. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry guys. I'm I'm, I'm really, really sorry. This is not gonna happen. <laughs> this is not gonna happen again, bro. Well, I can't promise that, but I just need a new system and my Xbox is old. Old, old, old.
By the deck. By the deck. Um, oh. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. I'm moving fast because it's nice, nice out. What's this? Hey, there's something not right about this slow board. It's different from the rest. Examine. Hey, it recently, but it looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. That's how it is. Gosh. There we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book mm -hmm. and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. Crying out loud. What's happened to you, mother? Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Right. Just in case, I'll take it off. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. Anything else? You're crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. I do want to see what's in here, though. Let's see what's in here, bro. Speed, speed, idiot. Oh, hold on, man. What's this? Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Mm. <coughs> See uh -huh. what, what are we here? Cannon powder. Mm. Interesting. It's unusable, though. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Ah, uh, freak. Okay, guys, we got what we needed. We're going to go to the, the manor. All right, man. Freak. Should have known it was going to shut off, bro. Freak. I'm gonna edit a lot of this so y'all won't have to see any of this. So y'all just get the main parts. Okay. So y'all only be seeing what I'm seeing.
Good man, good man, good man. I think I'm gonna end it right here. How did Mortimer manage to build this manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Well, I was going to end it off that way anyway. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Be the man next time. Peace.